Watch the leader. Huge, huge, huge moment through the chase. 300 kilometres an hour, surfs out the other side, oh. almost rolls the Castrol forward, gathers it up, drops a bunch of spots. The race has gone off. A little bit lower, though, I reckon, than Mark Winterbottoms. That was the race lead going down. He caught the edge there. Oh. Man, that's scary. That is really scary, and so is this. Lead on the track of that last lap, I'll never know. Alex Prema. Oh, here we go. This is contact. Oh. That's 250 kilometres an hour. We haven't seen where Scott Pye finishes. There were three cars alongside each other. Sight, very lucky not to roll over. Look at that. That is 250 kilometres oh. an hour. It's like Dukes of Hazard stuff. And airborne too. How that thing didn't bite and flip is a modern miracle. For Perth, so... Uh, Ross, happy birthday for uh, earlier in the week, 260th. Oh, Congratulations. Massive yeah, crash. Oh, that's sorry, reaction. we're going to have to come back to you there. That's Scott correct. Pye. That's a massive crash. He's gone straight ahead at turn two and made very, very heavy impact with the outside wall. There's guardrail. Hydraulic problem. This is going to be a shot now. You see straight ahead. Hasn't retarded at all. And bang in. That's as heavy front impact as we've seen for a long time. Flips right up. And the crowd. Already today, we saw that in... My goodness gracious, Liam McAdam. Red flag, red flag. The, uh, wow! At the it's still going up, Rusty. Mega! Red flag. Liam McAdam almost rolls the car. It's stadium truck stuff here from the youngster who has just finished high school. Oh! Wrapped up the Kumo series, made his debut at Bathurst in this class, and this was all about miles for 2016. Get I haven't seen a V8 supercar get into that position. How Maybe close ever. Was it that to ending up on the roof. Lounge is the same. Check that out. Everybody, all the boys. Golding will get down the inside. That's significant. Oh, you can see Jacobson too. He knows what's at stake here. Oh, oh Macaulay Jones. Will anyone else get him? There's a huge impact. Marjoram. Oh, Marjoram. Nearly over. Makes contact with one of the Kostecki brothers. Forced him to run wide. They caught each other. Macaulay Jones and Pasquale. And then it, it just resulted in... Oh, that is wild. There would have been a fair bit of force on that steering wheel for Adam Marjoram to be in. Convo buys in here. Oh, someone's oh, buried in deep. that's a big one from Paul Morris. At the top of frame there, you'll see that it, he would have been behind Bradley and in front of Glenn, I think, on the way down in the area to seven. Now, whether there's been any helping hand, I don't know. But um, he's gone in sideways and the sand has grabbed the car and he was as close as you want to dare to ending up on his roof. Check out the commitment in here from everybody at the moment. Oh, oh my God. God! That oh. is unbelievable. How he got away with that is unbelievable. Done an immense amount of damage to the front of the car. The championship game here, just seven off. Good start by Muskin, and he'll lead them away for Gary Rogers Motorsport. Great launch by Paul Dumbrell. Muskin leads Dumbrell. Shay Davies is up there. Look at Kurt Kostecki. Oh, oh he's gone off the road. Muskin. Oh, oh big one. Huge. Big shot. Clips him. Marjoram's off the ground. Oh. It just launched off the inside curb. He missed this. Douglas was so... Oh, oh massive! God. That's the view from Bryce Forward's car. This is David Bramham in a very serious incident. Very fast, spinning, fortunately not being collected by any of his competitors. And that is scary stuff, Jason Baguana. Oh, have a look at this from another angle. Oh, what happened there? Rear tyre, rear tyre. He almost got airborne. Back at Mount Panorama, we've got a red flag in practice six, and here's the reason why. Warren Luff driving Garth Tander's number two Holden Racing Team Commodore, unable to stop. Smashes into the back of Craig Lowndes.